You know, I bet you're doing something right now that you're not aware of. Do you know what that is? It's breathing. Why do I bring this to your attention? Because we go through life every day, we're breathing, and we're not even aware that that's what we're doing because we expect it to happen automatically. And for the most part, it does. Breathing, like digestion, and the heart beating are all functions of the autonomic, of the autonomic nervous system. But breathing is the only physiological process of the autonomic nervous system that we have some control over. Do you try to control your breath? Most of us don't. And that's what I want to talk about, learning to control the breath. But before I start, I'd like to invite you to join me in a short breathing exercise. So if you're willing, I'd like for you to find a comfortable spot where you can relax. Go ahead, I'll wait for you. You can either be seated upright in a chair, laying on your back, just find some place where you can just let go and relax, be comfortable. This breathing exercise is only for one minute. And during the, during the one minute, I'd like for you to count each breath. So one breath equals one inhale and one exhale. So inhale, exhale, one breath. All right, have you found your comfortable position yet? I will let you know when to start and I will also let you know when to stop. So before you get started and you're comfortable, you're relaxing, um, go ahead and just begin to breathe at your normal pace, which is what you will be doing during this exercise. Um, there's no need to change anything or manipulate your breath in any way. This is just a brief exercise. Oh, and I tell you, you spoke, uh, I did tell you I want you to count the breaths, right? Okay, so if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. And go. Stop. All right, did you get your number? I'd like you to remember that number because that's your starting point. Most of us, when we breathe, we breathe very shallow. In other words, in other words we use the top portion of our lungs when we should be using the full portion or breathing all the way down into the belly. It's called belly breathing or diaphragmatic breathing. So um, with that in mind, I would like you to, yes, I'm sorry, join me for one more exercise. This time, just put your hand here on your belly. Uh, if you know, you, you know you're breathing deep into your belly when you can feel your hand move with each breath. So when you inhale, you should see your abs move out away from you. When you exhale, You'll see it come back in. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. If you notice most of your breathing occurring up here, if you're sitting, if you're sitting, you'll notice your shoulders rise and fall with each breath. So that means you're kind of breathing shallow using the top portion of your lungs as opposed to getting that, that um, breath going all the way down into the belly. 
So let's try one more minute. You already have your number. So, oh, and by the way, let me mention this. The average person breathes somewhere between 14 and 20 breaths per minute. Uh, so I don't know where you fell the first time you counted, but this time, noticing the hand rising and falling here or here, this time, um, see if you can get that number a little bit lower. Okay, so are you ready? And once again, start. Stop. All right, were you able to get that number a little bit lower than the first number? Okay. Um, as I mentioned, the average person breathes about 14 to 20 breaths per minute, which is about three times higher than the three to six breaths that we should be breathing in order to see some of the health benefits. And those benefits include things like lowering the blood pressure, decreasing stress, increasing calm and relaxation, increasing stamina and um, endurance. So those are some of the things that just learning to use the diaphragm can help uh, you achieve to improve your health. Um, so I don't know where you fell in between that, but I think if you noticed, if you were really breathing deeply into your belly, that you were able to slow it down. I'm not going to have you join me again, uh, but I do want you to add breathing exercises to your daily routine just to see if you can learn how to just calm yourself during your work day or when you're feeling stressed or angry or anxious, the deep breathing will help. So I encourage you to try it.